What's up guys? Marky Mark back in the kitchen. Great to see you all this evening. Um, we're hanging out. I was going to actually do, I know I said I was going to do chicken and waffles today. Didn't. I was also about to do a steak and cheese pizza, but due to technical difficulties, I also didn't. So, came up with something on the fly. An epic pasta dish. It's another shrimp scampi-ish dish, but it uh, actually goes out to my boys in Culpeper at the Piedmont Steakhouse. If you're ever in Culpeper, Virginia, look up the Piedmont Steakhouse, go in there and get you some food. You can order anything on the menu and I guarantee you it's going to be great. My buddy Evan and Chris um, are rocking it in there. And uh, Anyway, so this is where I got that dish from. Um, it's called Pasta from Hell. And it's not that spicy, but... I, th I believe it, it developed the name from the color of the shrimp once you cook them. So anyway, we're doing a pasta dish and then you top it with the shrimp. The shrimp you fry in a separate pan. You, after they're cooked, you mix regular kind hot sauce, Frank's, whatever you like, anything like Frank's, um, and Old Bay together and they make this awesome red fiery sauce that you coat the shrimp in and you top the pasta with the shrimp. Anyway, I'm going to get going, I'm going to get some things mixing and I will catch you on in a minute. What is up guys? We're back in the kitchen. Um, so anyway, with this pasta dish, whenever, whenever I do it, I always just pre-cook the noodles. So I pre-boiled them, drained them, threw some olive oil on there to keep them from sticking together. Now I'm going to fry the shrimp up. Once they're fried up, I'll show you all this quick sauce. Um, so I got the pan rocking. I got the shrimp here. Nothing but olive oil. They're going to go in there. We'll cook them until they're done. Oh yeah. Snack, crack, crack. So we'll cook the shrimp until they're done. Once they're done, I'll get back and all with this sauce. And uh, after that, we'll toss the pasta and get it nice and hot, ready to go, get everything mixed up, and uh, we'll finish it off. So uh, don't go nowhere because it's going to be delicious, and I will see you on the second. What's up, y'all? Marky Mark, we back in the kitchen. So the shrimp I fried up in the little cast iron skillet here, nothing but olive oil. Um, they are done and looking beautiful, so all I'm going to do now is... Drop a touch of white wine in there. And you can see that starts steaming and bubbling and getting all delicious. So then, anyway, for the Hellfire sauce, which ain't even really that spicy, but like I said, it's more of a color thing. We got our Franks, we got our Cayenne hot sauce, we got our Old Bay, and all I'm gonna do is Just enough hot sauce to mix it all together. That's your mixture, hot sauce and Old Bay. Mix it up, drop it in the shrimp. I'm gonna go ahead and do that. I'll get back to you in a second. The next step, we're gonna throw the pasta in the wok, toss it around with some Parmesan, a little bit of white wine, and these awesome homegrown banana peppers from the garden that Mama Duke's hooked up. And uh, I'm gonna throw that butter in there with the pasta. And we'll get it all tossed up, mixed up, and I'll be back to y'all in a second and uh, show you what it's looking like. Alright, peace. What is up, guys? Mark and Mark back in the kitchen. So we got the pasta all whipped up. All you do is throw it on the third in the wok. Get it nice and hot and crackling. Uh, you mix in your banana peppers, your Parmesan cheese, salt, pepper, garlic powder. Just a little bit of fresh garlic, too. There is the shrimp in the Old Bay slash hot sauce mixture. And what I'm going to do, I said you top it, but I'm just dumping. And you toss that all together. And you're going to end up with this awesome flavor profile. Um, and while I'm thinking about it, so... I know I said my homies at the steakhouse taught me this recipe and uh, 
Evan and Chris, I called them out, but I forgot. Danny boy, and Danny boy, what's up, buddy? You kill it too. So don't think I forgot about you. Danny boy does appetizers and cold side, and he makes all kinds of killer salads and stuff. So like I said, anybody that goes to Culpeper County, Virginia, make sure you look up the Piedmont Steakhouse, go in there and get you something good to eat. But anyway, y'all can see this beautiful beautifulness happening here. And uh, I just used good old parm in a bottle. Um, the better the cheese, the better the flavor. So if you want to go with something fancier, feel free. Anyway, that's the mixture. Um, I'll come back at y'all in a second and show y'all what it looks like plated up. And we'll take a little taste test. But uh, for now, this is Chef Pierre with the menu for the evening. And uh, we'll get back to y'all in one second. Peace. What's up guys? We're back. Finished up in the kitchen. So anytime you got some extra shrimp laying around or you got shrimp in the freezer and you're like, what am I going to do for dinner? Boil some pasta, get some shrimp, make some hot sauce with some Old Bay. As long as you got Parmesan cheese on hand and some type of oil. I like olive oil. You'll be good to go. You can make this happen. Anyway, this is it. The pasta from hell. I'm going to take a little taste test. Show y'all what she's looking like. Got a nice shrimp, couple noodles. Y'all have got to try this. It is awesome. Anyway, this is Marky Mark signing off. I want to say thank y'all for tuning in. Thanks for all the subscribers. If you haven't subscribed, make sure you hit that button because I'm going to keep these things coming. I got some awesome things coming up. I'm going to do an epic chicken and waffles, an awesome steak and cheese pizza. Which, you get entered in a pizza competition anywhere and just bring it all home. So anyway, thank you all for watching. And if you have any questions, comments, if you try it and you like it, make sure, please comment. Tell me what you think. At least, if anything, just say what's up. I want to talk to y'all. Talk to me. Anyway, this is Marky Mark signing off. I'll catch y'all on, on the flip side.